Bob Filner is going into rehab, but he's staying in office as the mayor of San Diego. Anthony Weiner is resisting pressure that he quit the mayor's race here in New York City. But should their scandals have been a fatal blow to their political careers? Among my panelists tonight, Councilman and former Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry joins us. His scandal was arguably much worse than either Filner or Weiner. In 1990, Mayor Barry was videotaped smoking what the feds allege was crack cocaine. He pled guilty, did six months in federal prison, then got reelected mayor anyway. Uh, Councilman, welcome. Uh, mayor Barry, welcome. welcome. So, well, uh, Gerardo, you absolutely wrong about okay, it. Okay, what, what, what am I wrong about, Mayor? You're wrong about the fact that I uh, got convicted of smoking crack. It didn't happen. And the fact that me, I spent seven to ten million dollars trying to entrap me. Uh, and we had an eight week trial. And nine of the twelve jurors, nine black jurors, uh, said they ought to acquit me on all charges. And three white ones said they ought to convict me on all charges. And so that was a totally different thing. The FBI spent all this money trying to set me up. Uh, seven, eight million dollars. Wait, Mayor, Mayor Barry, Mayor, Mayor Barry, time out. Time so it wasn't, you're, not, it wasn't you're, not, you're not rewriting history here. You were. No, I'm not. I am. I know. The, were you? In fact, I didn't. At the trial, the, the federal government refused to produce evidence of what was in that pipe. In fact, they were trying to kill me because they had a paramedic come into the room. Well, at the what, same were you time. what were you smoking? Fact. You yeah. thought it was crack cocaine. I mean, I don't, I don't know, know what it was smoking. Crack. I never smoked crack, so I don't know what it was. You know, I just say we that. just bought crack uh, from crack dealers and you were smoking it and you didn't know what no, it was. No, well, listen, I've never got, I don't want to relitigate. Will you listen to me, Gerardo? I don't want to relitigate re your case. Stop, we stop, we have to stop this right. bullshit about me doing something that's not factual. I have, I'm not bald crack on the corner. I ain't not bald crack from anybody because I've not smoked it. You know, simple as that. That's a fact. And we know that also in terms wait, of Wait, wait, Mayor, Mayor, Ray, first, uh, if you want to apologize to our viewers for the obscenity you just uttered? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I got upset. That's all right, all right, all right. When, when, people, when people lie like that, well, like you, know, you for, just well, did, Since 1990, the world has uh, mm -hmm. been told that you smoke crack. Yeah, because the United States government set me up, sent this videotape all around the world, and in a trial, mm -hmm. they wouldn't even produce evidence of what was in the pack. What did they you said, plead guilty to? Uh, a misdemeanor that happened at the Mayflower Hotel. What was it? A lady who brought in some powder cocaine, offered me, we took one hit, it was her cocaine, she brought it there, you know, and okay. so that's okay. what happened. All right, do you want to, a, as a, a person who has been through the mill, do okay, you feel right. sympathy for Anthony Weiner and or Bob Filner? Well, let me say this, any time you go through life, you're gonna have some downfalls. You're gonna have some things that happen to you that kicks you in the, in the behind. You're going to find somebody that kicks you and somebody that puts you in a hole or you put yourself in a hole. And that's going to happen to all of us, whether it's a divorce, whether it's uh, kids, whether it's drugs, whether it's alcohol, whether it's finances. You're going to go through that. So I have to identify with anyone, not maybe what they did, but the fact that they went through all of this. When you go through it, uh, you embarrass, you, you feel some, 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 some lack of self-worth and all these kind of things. Now, in terms of Congressman Weiner, uh, I certainly understand uh, not what he did, but what happens to you after that. Your family suffers from it. Your wife suffers from it. And I was on an earlier should, show. Should he stay in the race, Mayor? Uh, I'm not in politics in New York. Uh, I know a lot about politics in New York. That's the decision he has to make. That's the decision his supporters have to make. I mean, one bit of advice to the congressman is that stop talking so much about now and so I talk about what he did for seven terms while he was in the Congress. He's a good Democrat. And also, same thing with Attorney General uh, uh, Schweitzer. You notice he doesn't talk about uh, this thing. Okay. He right. talks about his record. Let, let, me, let me just get a quick.